Hello, it is time of year to do some ornaments, holiday ornaments, holiday kind of things, uh, things you want to hang up for decorations. So they need a ring on them in order to hang them. One of these is going to work in a laser cutter and one of them is not going to work in a laser cutter. And it depends on how you do it. I'm in Inkscape right now. In Inkscape, I have to do things a little differently than I do in some of the other softwares. Usually in softwares, I can make a ring with two circles and then group them. I'm just going to do this really quickly. You know, center them up with all the tools, uh, select them, group them, kind of things, and then merge them together. But this is what happens. It doesn't want to merge or union this group with this drawing. So this way is not going to work. Making one group out of these two circles or ovals, whichever shape you want to use. So I got to do it a little different way. So I will show you that. And this is for Inkscape. So let's get a new drawing. We'll go from the beginning. And I will import my uh, SVG. I use, I've been using Garden, Silhouette Garden, SilhouetteGarden.com to get free SVGs. Now you notice they have PNGs and EPS and JPEGs also there. You need to give them attribution is what they want. All right, so it comes in like this. I'm under fill. I don't want any fill. So there's lines. We could go here, and this is later on for sending it to your laser cutter. Your laser cutter might want certain colors. Your laser cutter might want certain dimensions. That's later on. So I brought in my pumpkin, and now I'm going to make my circles. And I'm going to make it a circle. So let's go with 18 and 18. Okay, it might be a little big actually. Size is dependent upon what you want to, you know, loop it with. Okay, and I'm going to Command D because I'm on a Mac. Control D should probably work for you on a Windows, which should duplicate that. Now, really strange things when I do this, and I'm no longer on that drawing. It seems like the dimensions are completely different. I don't know why. Um, so what was that? I was at 15 before, so I'm going to go 10 here. And that was really, really too small. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So 20, 20. We'll go with that. Now, here's what we do. So I got my two circles. I am not going to center them up here and group them here. I'm going to do it in a moment. So I'm going to put this one over here, kind of where I want it. And now I am going to select both of my circles. And I'm, I want the align. So let's find objects, align and distribute. And here's what I have to go up to. I have to check here. And there's how you want to align. And I want to align it to the biggest object. If I do last select or first select and smallest, this is going to move around somewhere. So I'm going to go biggest. And that means the biggest object is not going to move. And then I'm going to go center vertical, center horizontal. And bam, we've got those centered. Now I need to select the outer ring and the pumpkin, but not the inner ring. And then I go to path and union. On some softwares, it's weld or merge. I think combine would also work here. I'm going to go union. And for some strange reason, it's coming up with no stroke paint. So I go to stroke paint and click yes. So there we go. We've got our ring built in for a laser cutter. Now I need to group those. Otherwise, um, 
they're not going to move together. So I selected both of them. The pumpkin with the ring around it and then the inner ring. And I'm going to go to objects and group. And now I have one nice group that I can move, shift, and resize if I want to by using arrows for dimensions. So that's how you make that ring in Inkscape. You don't make a two-circle ring. You kind of do, but you don't group them at first. You group them afterwards. So you put the one big ring, center the little ring on it, and then union the big ring and the pumpkin, or whatever you're going to hang. And then you group the little ring to the object. So there you go. Enjoy.